Excel remains the most popular and widely used data tool on the market, but most people don't realize how deep the tool's functionality really goes. Hi, I'm Matt with Maven Analytics, and today I'll be reviewing six steps to becoming an advanced Excel user. As they say, there are two kinds of people those who use Excel and those who lie about not using it. But there's a surprising number of features and capabilities that most users aren't even aware of. Features that can quickly turn you into an Excel power user. And no, I'm not talking about XLOOKUPs or pivot tables. So if you're curious what these tools and features are, keep watching. To preface, we're not gonna be covering things like standard Excel functions, or like I mentioned, pivot tables or conditional formatting in this video. Those are actually relatively basic aspects of Excel. The goal of what we're covering today are Excel features that completely revolutionize the way we use the tool. These are more advanced yet critical features that are often underutilized. And as a result of learning these, they'll completely revolutionize the way you approach your data. So without further ado, let's begin. First on the list is Power Query. Power Query is a data automation tool that allows us to clean, shape, and transform our data without continuous manual effort. With it, you can pull in data from multiple sources like CSV files, Excel files, SQL databases, websites, or even APIs, and refresh them with a single click. This eliminates the need for complex formulas or manual effort when cleaning our data. So why is this important? Well, it allows you to save time by automating repetitive tasks that would take you hours to do manually. This also helps improve accuracy because it reduces some of the risk of human error when we're making data transformations or cleaning data manually. Lastly, it enables scalability because once you set it up, it allows you to clean and refresh your data automatically every time. So where might this prove useful? So let's say you receive weekly sales data and CSV files from multiple teams. Instead of manually cleaning and combining those files, Power Query will automate the tasks once you set up those applied steps, refreshing the data automatically within seconds. It's an incredibly powerful tool that can literally put hours back into your week. Now let's move on to number two, Power Pivot. Power Pivot is a tool that enables working with millions of rows of data in Excel without slowing it down. It allows for advanced calculations using measures and calculated fields, unlike traditional pivot tables. It also uses a structured data model instead of relying on standard spreadsheet cell references. So Power Pivot is great because it handles large data sets, whereas standard Excel would slow down. It also enables advanced aggregations that pivot tables alone couldn't handle. For example, year over year comparisons and it removes the need for repeated manual calculations. Power Pivot updates reports dynamically when data changes. So let's look at another example where Power Pivot might prove useful. Say you work with a global sales data set containing millions of transactions. A regular pivot table would struggle in this scenario, but Power Pivot allows you to create dynamic reports more easily. And you can do things like analyze trends or calculate profit margins with less effort. Okay, now let's talk about number three, DAX. So DAX is a formula language designed for Power Pivot and Power BI to perform complex data analysis. It allows users to create measures and calculated columns for deeper analysis. Some examples are the support of time intelligence functions. So things like calculating running totals, year over year growth, or moving averages. This is great because it extends Excel's analytical capabilities. With it, you can go far beyond what traditional countifs or sumifs could do. DAX also creates reusable calculations. These update dynamically without modifying existing cells. Lastly, it's also an essential language for Power BI. So if you learn DAX in Excel, it makes transitioning to Power BI a little bit easier. So let's say you wanna analyze sales growth data over the past five years, but you want a formula that updates automatically each time new data is added. You could create a formula like total year to date that provides a real time calculation. In short, DAX is a great language to know and understand, especially if you're using Power Pivot within Excel. Number four, data modeling. Data modeling is the process of structuring table relationships in Excel. This is very similar to how relational databases work. This allows you to connect multiple tables together without relying on things like VLOOKUPs, XLOOKUPs, or index match formulas. And again, data modeling is a foundational skill if you're working in Power Pivot, or again, Power BI, making your data more organized and user-friendly. So let's look at some reasons why data modeling is important. 
So the first is that it reduces the file size and improves the speed of your report. It does this by eliminating unnecessary duplicate data or unnecessary complex formulas. It also prevents formula errors that often happen when you have a long chain of lookups. So again, when your tables are connected via a relationship, you're not relying on formulas to create that relationship, making them much more stable. Third, it creates a dynamic structure. Once relationships are set, adding new data is seamless and won't break the report. Okay, let's move on to number five, dashboarding and design. So dashboarding is the process of creating interactive reports using charts. Things like slicers, tables, and pivot tables can be implemented into dashboards as well. So with dashboards, you're taking raw data and you're creating uh, more readable, interactive insights through your data. In other words, it's data visualization. And data visualization is great because it helps you make sense of your data. Dashboards also promote interactivity, so if stakeholders want to drill down into the report, they have the opportunity to do so. Essentially, we're making the data more user-friendly. This is important because it makes data easier to interpret. A well-designed dashboard can help make insights clear more quickly than a raw data set or table could. And of course, it improves our presentation quality because data visualizes our dashboards, look more professional, and make it easier to tell a story with our data. So lastly, let's talk about number six, dynamic arrays. So dynamic arrays are a more modern Excel features that allows formulas to spill into additional cells automatically without having to copy them down. This includes functions like filter, sort, or unique, making your formulas a little bit more dynamic. So dynamic arrays are great because they reduce errors in manual work. This is because one formula can populate an entire list dynamically. It also makes formulas more flexible because as the data changes, the list will update automatically. And it improves efficiency because you don't have to drag formulas across 100 different rows. So that's dynamic arrays. And by the way, if you're interested in mastering each of these Excel techniques that we covered, you might be interested in joining one of Maven's 10-week live immersive programs. In them, you'll be guided by a team of Maven expert instructors learning skills like Excel, SQL, Power BI, and even Python in a live environment. Each immersive group is also skill specific. For example, our Excel immersive only covers advanced Excel skills like the ones covered in this video over the 10 week period. We run each skill specific cohort twice a year and our Excel group is starting up again very, very soon. If you're interested, please check the link in the description below for more info. And there you have it, six steps that will take you from a basic to an advanced Excel user. As we described, the real power of Excel lies beyond the basic functions. These tools allow you to automate tasks, analyze large data sets, and create interactive reports. If you invest in each of these skills, it'll revolutionize the way you work with your data and put you ahead of most Excel users. If you found the video helpful, be sure to subscribe for more Excel and data analytics content. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.